Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Look at this, we did it. Brand new release day, we filled our second full case break of 2020 Topps Gypsy Queen Baseball. Pick your team number two. A long break, gobbles up a lot of time, but I'm glad we got a second one done tonight. There it is, 10 box, pick your team two, 2020 Topps Gypsy Queen Baseball. Big thanks to Liam, who got the last couple teams here, last few teams. There. And then Sam and Jake, you won spots in that team random. Royals and Rangers, respectively. All right. There's the case right there. Right there. Oh, that's right. Adam, Adam. Yeah, you are probably been keeping busy in the oil fields. Hopefully everyone's safe out there in these crazy COVID times. Be safe. Keep clean, especially if you have to keep working with the public. We don't. We don't have to work with the public. We're lucky enough to be here at our little studios here and keep running things online. All right. I'm actually going to slide, make myself some extra room here. All right. So as you can see on the top camera, and this camera right here, we got five and five left and right. But yeah, Adam Wilson's in a in an oil field, an oil field, gas field, so he's working. We got a, we got we got some people who are in the grocery store industry. They're working, and they're you know putting putting their their health on the line. So thank you to them. Good luck, everybody. So everyone, hopefully everyone's going to be safe and careful out. Listen, if you don't have to go out, don't do it. No need to. No need to. Keep washing those hands. Even if you're at home. I mean, I wash my hands anyway, multiple times. Even if you're at home. Just... Can't be too uh, can't be too careful in times like this. You never know what little pesky germs fly in, even when you think you're doing the most innocuous of things. But yeah, listen, keep doing all that. And if everyone does that, and if you tell someone to do that, and you tell other people to do that, the word spreads around. And then hopefully we can. Try to slow this thing down as much as possible, at least to the point where we can start getting some kind of normalcy. Live sports space. I mean, we're you know we're we're involved in sports. That's what we want to see, you know. So we can at least kind of get some of that in gear to to a certain extent. Whatever limited seasons we might have or whatever. I mean, at least we can try to get something like that going. Good luck, box number one. So this this break will probably take us to the right to the end of the night, ladies and gentlemen. So so thanks everybody. Actually make myself a little extra room here. I'm gonna set those right there. Now I'm gonna try to catch as much of the variations right here as possible. Maybe try to glance at the back to see if we can catch any of those bazooka backs. But just in the interest of time, we're going to try to breeze through these as quickly as possible. Now, all cards ship in this. So if you see me miss a variation or something, don't worry. Don't worry. It'll still, as long as you saw it on the video, it will go your way. Yeah, and some of the jersey variations are hard to spot, especially if it's the Jackie Robinson ones. Like, how do I know if that's a Jackie Robinson one? He's covering his number, right? But you can always look at the codes down there. And if you go to cardboardconnection.com, I'll drop the link to everybody here if you're watching live. Or you can go to cardboardconnection.com and you can 
look at the variation codes there. Kevin Newman for the Pirates. That's going to go to Michael Gallucci and the Pirates. The easy ones to spot are the logo swaps and the no names. And sometimes you can spot one of the Jackie Robinson ones. There's Anthony Stantner. And that's to 250. We'll sleeve and top load all of these later. Our shipping team will take care of that. And just in the interest of time, we're going to try to breeze through these. Orange is the normal color for those. And then parallels will be, will be different colors. There's Kershaw, and these ones are flipped around. I think those are Players Weekend, and that's a logo swap. I've not seen a bazooka back yet, which is why I'm kind of obsessing over looking at the backs of those cards. Because I think I think it I think it looks really cool. Yeah, that's that, that Kershaw is actually a big short print because not only is it Players Weekend, it is also the the Gypsy Queen logo swap that goes to Harvey and the Dodgers. There you go, Harvey. There's Willie Demis, no name for the Rays. That'll be for Vince, and I'll do a recap at the end of the break as well. I'm going to separate those minis so they don't slide around. Oh, what do we got here? We got a, ooh, Miguel Cabrera, Miggy. Doesn't sign too often. Zach Wilson with... The Tigres. Nice. I was actually looking. I had a fantasy baseball draft on Saturday. And uh, Miguel Cabrera did not have a have a bad season last year. I mean, not, not, not vintage Miguel Cabrera, but, you know, decent. Patrick Corbin to 150 for the Nats. I see another logo swap back there. And that's Anderson Simmons logo swap. Usually has GQ up there. That'll be for Richard Zitterman and the Halos. Base short prints, ladies and gentlemen, are going to be card 301 and up. And obviously, since everything ships, you'll get those, whatever they may be. All right, Glaber Day, Nolan Arenado, those are not numbered. The blue one is numbered, Jose Altuve, to 150. Next box. The Altuve will go to Zhang and the Astros. All right, next box. Right, 
Right, Rory saying what? Shocking L2, is, is he is he pretty common? This is only my second case. Is he pretty common in this? Hi, Logan Callister. There he is. We were, just, we were just talking about you. How many hours you've been working out there delivering delivering the mail for us. We appreciate you. You redeemed your Altuve framed auto and you asked for a Tom Brady instead. And what did it, what did TriStar tell you? Oh, shocking because of the buzzer. I get it. Sorry. It's a little... Uh, I'm a little slow on the uptake right now. It's, it's the end of the night for me. They didn't write you back yet. Well, what did you say, Logan? What was your what was your pitch? What was your uh, you're like? I don't want this cheater. I want a winner. I want players that want to win. Although some will argue that maybe Mr. Brady has engaged in a little nefarious activity as well. I feel like if I just kind of look at it like this, the bazooka back should show up immediately, right? I would think so. What's that? <gasps> I told you that we'd spot it if I did that. Brandon Woodruff, Rory, and the Brewers. Woo! That's our first bazooka back. I love these. That is awesome. They're pretty hard to hit. According to CardboardConnection.com, these bazooka bags, the third, this is the toughest to pull out of one, one out of 61 packs for base or one out of every 1,817 packs for a short print, for a base short print. That's pretty awesome. There you go, Rory. Sorry, Jeff. No, I didn't. Sorry, Jeff. Jeff Goldhaber is like, how dare you? Tom Brady is Lord and Savior in New England, at least up until a couple weeks ago. And we've got Charlie Morton, Tampa Bay Rays autograph for Vince. There you go, Radical. Yeah, welcome back. Out of 150 on that Charlie Morton. Now, I know this is a baseball break, but it's so long that we can kind of drift into other sport topics too. Um, so what happened, Jeff Golday, with the with Tom Brady? Um, was I feel like Tom Brady is going to like write a book. There's going to be a tell-all book, a pseudo-tell-all book. It'll say how the relationship soured. Did you, Rory? Rory, who has the Brewers, is asking me, "Did I hit a Keston or Yelich auto in the first case?" That's not important, Rory. And one important thing is you should focus on not what happened in the first case, but uh, but what what happened here with the Brandon Woodruff, right? You don't have to worry about what happened in the first case, Rory. I don't have to worry about that. Out of 250, Alex Bregman. Let's focus on the present, not the past, Rory. Out of 150, Didi Gregorius, Phillies, Jeff Goldhaber. We did, both. <laughs> the Yelich was a, was a black and white, I think. Oh, 
Or did we pull a Ke well no, maybe we didn't pull a Keston autograph. Maybe I'm confusing that with with Inception. I think maybe we pulled one in Inception. Bazooka card, hey hey, not numbered by the way. Mark says everyone everyone knew Brady was gone. It's not news or is it? No, Mark, are you saying there's no juicy story? About souring relationship. Max Muncy going to Harvey and the Dodgers. Nice. You got that Kershaw short print. And now the Muncy go get it out of the ocean. Max, go get it out of the ocean. Muncy autograph. Uh, was there a Kesson auto too? All right. Yeah, they're both, Rory. <laughs> All right, out of 250, Gio Urshela. The juicy story is he and Brady and Belichick didn't just didn't get along, says Mark. Ah, oh, come on. No, there's got. I, I want there to be more. There's. I'm just gonna believe that there's gonna be more. You think they'd maybe get a better picture of Williams Astadio? Come on, be be fair to the big guy there. There's Jordan Alvarez to 99. Brady got fed up with Belichick. I mean, but why? Is because Bel is Belichick just kind of a red ass? Is that is that what it is? At Jordan, by the way, goes to the Strohs, Young with the Strohs. I want th I want there to be like some sort of like uh, there was like the throwing of chairs, <laughs> maybe some personal insults that were thrown around. Hard to get excited about any Astro, though, Rory. Sorry. I'm, the bias is there, at least for a little while. I'll get over it, but not right now. No, I know, I know. I know, Bel Belichick, Belichick d doesn't want to pay for past performance, as Mark's saying. Right, Bill has the, he'd rather get them one year, get them out one year earlier as opposed to one year later. So you think the bad blood started, Jeff Goldhaber thinks the bad blood started with the, with the Jimmy G situation. Adam Wilson's saying the surprise to trade Jimmy G. So, what Jimmy G? What do you, so? What happened there? You think Tom Brady went to Kraft and was like, "Get that guy out of here! Get Jimmy G out of here! I don't want him taking my job." Something like that. Well, uh, Bill wanted Brady gone and keep Jimmy G. Yeah, so did so did Tom Brady go crying to Kraft, and is that why Kraft blocked it? As Jeff Goldhaber is saying, I don't. I honestly don't know the 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 the, the full situation. And why didn't they get Lamar Jackson? Was this more more Brady crying and being like, "Wah, don't draft a quarterback. I'm I'm the quarterback. Wah." Next box. No name right there. Uh, 
That's for the White Sox. Adam Wilson. Yoan Mankata. We got Vlad Guerrero Sr. No name. That'll go to the Nationals, John McCall. Gotcha. So for as in regards to Lamar Jackson, Mark saying Mark saying they didn't want another Jimmy G situation where they draft a guy sits behind Brady for three years and he doesn't get to play because Brady sticks around. So why the so why the why the change now? So after they after they trade away Jimmy G, after they miss out on on Lamar Jackson, now Kraft is like, okay, we'll let Brady walk this time. You might as well just die on that hill. You sign Brady for another three years and then figure it out later. Unless Belichick said he'd walk. Unless, and then lay down the gauntlet. Another bazooka back? What? Did I miss a no name? No, I think all these were named. What? <laughs> we had zero in the first case, and now we have two in this case. Liam Mahoney with the Reds, one of his last spot mojo teams. It's Sonny Gray. who got reunited with his Vanderbilt pitching coach last year and has really... has really come on. That's really nice. He's a keeper on my fantasy team. I felt pretty smart about drafting him last year for just a couple bucks. There's Colby Allard for the Rangers. Sam Strayer with the Rangers. He won that in a team random. All right, see you, Logan. Rest up, man. All right, so Mark, so maybe the finances got to a point where, where they're like, all right, got to let Brady go, especially since Brady wasn't going to take a discount. All right. All right, and it's Will Smith, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, going to Harvey and the Dodgers. Nice. All right, there's Logan Allen, there's Gio Urshela to 150, and Juan Soto. And the next box. When's the Gypsy Queen 10 case are going to happen? How many spots would you buy, Gilo?
How many spots are you? We can. How many spots can we lock you in for? One royal spot. That's it. No, we we need a little bit more than that from you. If we're gonna do a ten k, sir. Zach says you'll buy a spot if we can fill it tonight. I think the uh, I think the meth shop is closed, Zach. So I don't think I'll be able to do that. It's a non-essential business in California, so I don't think I'll be able to do a ten k sir. Chilo's like, you know, the Royals are going to benefit from a shortened season. We can't go three seasons in a row with 100 losses. True. Yeah, I mean, there's going to be some interesting ideas that pop up for, for some of these, some of these uh, seasons. Especially the baseball season. A shortened season is a possibility. Uh, I think Scott Boris was floating the idea of just playing all the way through like December, but playing the playoffs in like neutral sites and warm weather areas, which would be really interesting. So there could be some creative stuff happening, which I'm open to in, in a weird year like this. I'm open to that kind of craziness. And I wonder, some of those ideas could stick. I think some of those ideas could really stick. What's up, Joe P? I think uh, Aristides Aquino is a rookie in this, plus uh, Senzel stuff. That's what drives that price. That price point is actually kind of a, a mid-range price. There's Yachty. Uh, to 50, black and white. Yeah, he's officially... It, it's... It's weird because we saw him play so much last season, Joe, but yeah, he's he's a rookie card in this year, so. Robert Rincon with the Cardinals. I like those black and whites. How much are the white socks? Does anyone remember how much the white socks were? I'll look it up after this break. I don't remember offhand. I just want to keep going. I'm in a good good groove here. Ooh! Bo Bichette! Richard Zitterman with the Bluebirds. Nice. Thanks, Rebel. Kyle saying it's uh, about 120. I'm sure it was like 119.99 or something like that. There's Hunter Dozier to 150, 250. Yeah, Luis Robert is going to be a big name for the for the White Sox. That goes to the Royals. That'll be for Jake, who got the Royals in a team random. I already got Hyunjin Ru in a Blue Jays uni. And we've got Aaron Saval. Savale or Saval? That goes to the Indians. Chris Parent with the tribe. Thank you. 
Oh, you thought Rory thought it was Aaron Sivell? Sivell? Oh, that I didn't even think of that third pronunciation. Could be. Again, all cards ship in this, so I know I'm, I'm just trying to get through this so it doesn't take two hours to break this. But all cards will ship, so in case I miss any variations or anything like that, as long as you see the card, you'll get it. These are easier to spot, so that's why I'm setting these aside. Um, when you get these in the mail, it'll also be worth double-checking the codes on the bottom right here. It's kind of hard to see those tiny numbers, but use CardboardConnection.com and use uh, look up the codes there to spot some of the different variations. There's Jordan Alvarez to 150. That's another one for the Strohs, Young with that one. I have not seen any of the, there's Armed Forces parallels in here too. I think it's, I think those, are, we'll try to sp keep an eye out for those, but it's the, uh, it's the players, but in a camo hat. Oh, is a jersey camo too? I saw an example on Cardboard Connection. I just noticed the hat. All right, so maybe it's a little bit easier to spot than I thought. I feel like the shorter prints, the super short prints tend to be flipped around. So that makes it a little bit helpful, I think. Like with the Kershaw we saw earlier in the break. Gilo, you're back and forth on Gypsy Queen, but you love the on-card autos. I like Gypsy Queen. Mark says, I used to love Gypsy Queen, your favorite, but I think that back in 2012, the short prints were same numbered, image variations, fun to build that set. Since then, it's gotten tough. I feel like I like Gypsy Queen and the set building out of here a little bit better than something like, say, Heritage. Oh, you, Rory said you guys hit a, a Kino player weekend and logo swap that wasn't flipped. Okay. So, it's just all over the place then. Yeah, Mark really likes Heritage though. He's saying his favorite. Ton of fun. Mirror. You think mirror, I don't know if mirror is public. You think mirror stock goes up? People staying at home? No no workout classes or anything like that? You just step in front of a mirror? Are Peloton sales up? Oh, Mark N, how how are how are you doing out there? What's the what's the what's the deal with the golf courses in Massachusetts? Are you Shutting it down for a couple of weeks? You still go into work? Or you're just hanging tight for a few weeks? Or what's what's your story? Hopefully you're doing okay. If they're taking care of you. You're off for two weeks. Of course, shut down for two weeks? Scott Kingery, no name, for Jeff Goldhaber and the Phillies. I mean, who knows what's going to happen with with live sports this, at least in the next few months, but people are suggesting, some people are speculating that it's possible that golf 
pro golf would be one of the first live sports that can kind of get started first. You know, you know, wide open golf courses, right? You know, players and players can they can just not have public there, and players can spread out as much as they need to. So, golf might be one of the first things that we see coming back live sports wise. So Mark N. is saying, good news, bad news. Close for two weeks as of yesterday. The Phil season was still had to play walking only. It was going to go in. Oh, and then the state, state shut down everything. Some years, of course, even open until April 7th, so isn't a huge loss. I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Shed Long, black and white. Autograph for the Mariners. Liam Mahoney. It's one of, the last, one of his last spot mojo teams. Eight out of 50. There's Aaron Nola to 250. Yeah, I'm not sure why golf was, why golf courses were were shut down. There's Aaron Nola, because you can't. I mean, there's so much open space there, but I don't know. Maybe they they're just. I could see state and local governments just trying to be on the safe side and just saying, hey, let's not let's not even risk it for now. But I could see those being one of the first things. Um, I could see golf courses and pro golf being one of the first things to start reopening back up sooner rather than before, like, say, malls even open up. Ooh, nice. We hit one of these in the last case. Babe Ruth, no name, base short print. Nice. So starting with the Babe, 301 and up are the uh, base short prints. Right, oh, yeah, Mark's got a little inside baseball for us, so he can help confirm the stuff that I've been reading and, and hearing. That uh, little inside baseball PJ Tour heard today that currently are currently not planning on canceling any more events. I mean, of course, things can change in an instant, but it seems like golf is probably the, the sport most well-equipped to, to just pretty much ban fans temporarily and then just still keep the tour going you can do that we could probably do that with tennis too i think tennis you can kind of get get coming back i think baseball you may have to do some empty or half capacity stadiums but i think if we are able to kind of slow this covid thing down in the next couple few months or so then maybe baseball you can start thinking about seeing that come back uh, that's Robel Garcia, rookie auto for Chris DeHart and the Cubs. At least, knock on wood, that's where we're hoping. The baseball, you know, you can obviously have players spread apart uh, and distance properly. Basketball is the one I'm, I'm a little worried about. There's Carlos Santana, Bryce Harper to 99, and Fernando Tatis Jr. Second year. Remember, this is 2020. All right, next box. We're getting there, folks. Got about another 30 minutes to go or so. My time on this is not as good as the first case. This is definitely last break of the night. I'm dragging a little bit, so I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. But we'll get through it. I'll do a recap at the end, too. I'm going to try to get this done by the top of the hour. I was considering doing... Well, no, the spots haven't been sold in that NT Collegiate. So when I started this, I initially said, hey, if that NT fills, I'll do it. But I'm having second thoughts on that, ladies and gentlemen. I think I'm going to be, going to be out of steam. The Big Hit Express will be out of steam by the end of this break. So why don't we save that for tomorrow? We got stuff to do tomorrow too.
throat's drying up too. Been talking all day. All right. <laughs> yeah, Rory, come on. Finney's got a restaurant to run. He, he needs that outside money coming in buying steaks at the Ryder Cup in Milwaukee. At the, at the Ryder Cup event in Milwaukee. You think, uh, do we ever see golfers, pro golfers at like autograph signings, like at the national or stuff like that? Is there, is there an appetite for that? People must want, like, it, if like a pro golfer, you know, when all this COVID stuff dies down, if a pro golfer came to Jaspies and was here for a couple hours, do you think people would line up and get his autograph or her autograph as the case may be? Let's say let's say it's not like a crazy big name, but or maybe it is a crazy big name. I mean, no, Gilo, you th you, th you think the demographic wouldn't want it? Like if what if what if Justin Day came came and hung out for a couple hours at Jaspi, sat at a table and signed golf balls and eight by tens. No, you don't think there's an appetite for that? Maybe not. There's Corey Dickerson. Who's on the Phillies now, I guess? That goes to Jeff Goldhaber. Nice autograph for you. Yeah, I figure McElroy and Tiger Woods we probably wouldn't be able to get. <laughs> or at least for... A fair price, but I don't know. Giolito, no name, for the White Sox. That'll be for Adam Wilson. Giolito playing like, uh, was pitching like the number one overall prospect he was a few years back. <laughs> yeah, I wish we could book LeBron out, book LeBron for a week at Jaspies. There it is. Uh, David Peralta to... 150 for the Diamondbacks. Arthur without. Did I miss a bazooka? You sure it wasn't that? The tarot card? Well, if I missed it. Our shipping team will catch it. I don't think I did, though. It might have been that tarot card that you guys are looking at. Everything ships, so. Come on, Callie. Might have been the gypsy, the, the, the tarot card. Come on, man. I'm gonna net tomorrow. I'm gonna go to. Uh, I'm gonna go to your Best Buy. Tell you things that I think you missed.
out of 250, Adam Hazley. No, I mean, you can come out to my car. Although you're, are you the guy that you're not the guy that comes out of the car, are you? Aren't you like a manager? Aren't you? Aren't you like uh, you're? Aren't you running the running the show? You could send like the, those those healthy teenage kids out there to run over to the car. There's Max Muncy. Why was that flipped? Oh, that's the uh, that's the Jackie Robinson variation. Forty-two. That goes to Harvey. There you go, Harvey. All right. Next box. Oh, no. You'll get a couple after. Good luck. Oh, you were in parking lot duty today. All right, all right. All hands on deck. All right, Rory just needs one Keston or Yelich. Just any card, Rory? I could find you any card. Ink, gotcha. Rory saying ink specifically. All right. Well, we we got a what two, four, six, eight autos to go. So. Oh, I guess you guys are all parking lot duty. No, you got one of you can't just. I thought you guys were uh, were were high up enough where you can just sit in an office, sit inside all day. All right, Jeff wants a Jeff Goldhaber who has a Phillies wants a Bryce Harper auto. Sure. Good guys. Harvey's like, we could. We could just stay in the back, but we want to help. I like that. Good job, Best Buy. Are, I know there was some little discussion before the break about about how the the grocery industry is handling like hourlies and overtime payments and stuff like that. You think Best Buy doing all right, taking care of as many people as they possibly can? I would assume so. They're such a big company that feel like they'd, they'd be kind of on top of that. Michael Chavis, autograph. Josh Proust and the Red Sox. It's the first auto of the box. No name. Michael Gallucci with the Pirates.
There's the logo swap, Isan Diaz for Liam B and the Marlins. Got two Liams in this, Liam B, Liam M. There you go, Big River. I know you were looking for that guy. I'll try to find you some ink, too. Who's that guy? It's numbered, too. It's Robel Garcia. Another Robel Garcia for Chris DeHart and the Cubbies. Blue parallel this time. Seventy-six out of ninety-nine. Gotcha, gotcha. So Callie's saying everyone's volunteering to work right now. I got a two, two fifty raise. That's not bad. And everyone not comfortable working, getting two weeks paid for the meantime. All right, that's not bad. Good. Arthur, that Luke Weavers for you to 150. To 150. Sandy Koufax. That's pretty cool. That is for Harvey and the Dodgers. Look at that. And that's a base short print. 301 and up. And a parallel. Shouldn't we have a second auto here? Maybe not. There's Jack Flaherty as well. Yeah, I think for the most part, Adam Wilson, that's the encouraging sign. It looks like people are really, for the most part, really coming, really coming together as much as possible. I don't know why this was, this was flipped upside down, but but yeah, I mean, for the most part, it seems seems like in all this craziness. Oh, it was Chavis. That's it was Chavis, and then the Robel Garcia. And we've got Seth Brown, 15 out of 50. Starling Marte to 150. Oof, Mark, Mark saying your wife got laid off from a big job, now collecting unemployment and working at a grocery store as an online order picker. Man, that is, that is crazy. My sister, as a lot of you know, I think Mark, you know, the, works for the Win, and I mean they pretty much shut down the Strip. They shut down Vegas. Win was one of the first properties to resorts to close down, and yeah, I mean she's getting paid for a couple of weeks, but you know, I don't know what happens after that if things keep going. Gonna be crazy. Mark, tell the missus to be careful. You know, be safe out there. It's crazy. 
I know we we got a lot of people working in the grocery industry that are here, and they're just getting crushed, just with the hours, just with the people, all that sort of stuff. But they're also dealing with the public more often than a lot of us. Is that right, Callie? You're going to apply the Jaspies to be a card sorter? Yeah, it may, may be up to group breakers to re-stimulate the economy. A lot of static in the, a lot of static this year in the Gypsy Queen. Just my my hands are just too electric, I guess. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Deion Sanders. Neon Dion for Liam and the Reds. I, I sure hope that when people get their stimulus checks, that goes to Liam, by the way, that you are taking care of the the necessities first before you spend it. I mean, if you're lucky enough to still have a, you know, you're still, your hours haven't been cut or whatever. Here's your working from home business as usual, then yeah, you can use the extra stimulus for us. <laughs> Help out a small business here, but but if, if you're not as lucky, make sure you make sure you take care of you first. Obviously, hopefully I don't have hopefully it doesn't have to be me to tell you that. I don't care what new release is coming up. Yeah, they, they passed that massive stimulus package, John McCall, yesterday. I'm not sure. My my sort of brief reading about it seemed like it would just be... There's Matt Beatty for Harvey. That they're just going to send you a check? Or maybe they'll direct deposit? I don't know. I think it's dependent on your 2018 tax return. So maybe if you direct deposited it or something like that. Deposit? I can't say that word. Direct deposited it? <laughs> then maybe they'll use that account or maybe they'll just send you a check. I don't know. I feel like cutting a check would take forever, right? Most people get their refunds not with a check. People still get checks. Yeah, the stimulus I heard, Kyle, is that well, anyone making 75, I think, is the threshold. 75 and under will get like 1,000, 1,100, 1,200, something like that. And then everything over that, anything over that, I think it goes down. So like if you're making like a million dollars a year, then I think you're getting like 50 bucks or something like that. Is that a 250, Michael Chavis? But um, but yeah, if you have kids, I think that uh, if you have dependents, I think that adds another five hundred to to the check. I think there's something there's like if you're filing as a married couple, and then there's another threshold there. I'm not married, so I didn't pay attention to that part. Globug, what's going on? Make they take six weeks? That's what I heard too. And, you know, it's not just going to happen tomorrow. They're not going to press a button and do it. But can they just send you twelve hundred in Jaspi credit? I mean, they, they could, I guess. Out of 250, Zach Davies. Now, Glowbug is saying that if you, if you make over 99 as an individual or 198 as a couple, you get nothing, apparently.
All right, so there you go. I think I'm under. I'll have to look at my 2018 return. There's David Dahl, logo swap. Glowbug, how's how how are things with you out there? You're 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 in all that craziness. What was our sec? Did we not get a second auto? That was from the previous box. I thought there was two. What do you what do you think we make here, Arthur? You think we really make Tesla money here? We got to we got to sell more Gypsy Queen cases if we're going to get there. To 99, Tommy Pham. Yeah, that was probably that was probably that was probably Rory's uh, one of one Keston here that was missing. Uh, yes, I do. I do know the business that you're in. Yeah, working from home's got to be pretty tough. I forget what exactly you do, but I know you work for a major financial institution, so we'll leave it at that. Um, but yeah, I mean, you guys are getting getting brutalized too. Even working from home's got to be tough. But healthy though, I mean, kids are probably at home as long as you're. I mean, health obviously important too. You're uh, you're kind of in the. I don't think you're in the. Are you in the thick of it? You're. I mean, you're in New York. You're right there, right? Man. <laughs> right, Dave. You you're getting penalized for working hard. I made too much for a stimulus. Shouldn't you get a stimulus if you're in a different bracket? You're, you have to pay more taxes, don't you? <laughs> Everyone's healthy. Good. Good. That's important. Yeah, we, we a lot of our New York crew have checked in, and so far they're, they're saying that health-wise they're okay. Hours get cut? Yeah. We're working too many hours? Yeah. But so far healthy. But yeah, we're hanging in there, Globuck. Thanks for asking it. We've kind of skirted her. I mean, we've been closed to the public for a while already, even before the more strict sort of orders came down from our from California. As an online business, we've been, and as sort of a you know media outlet as well, where we can dispense information. You know, like we've been able to kind of skirt the sort of forced stay at home, not the force, but the strongly suggested stay at home sort of rules. And we're still being able to, to, to act, to come into our shop. And there's, we don't have more than a few people working at any given time here anyway. And we've got a lot of open space here. I have my own studio here and Jason's all the way on the other side. So we're keeping our social distances. We're distancing. We have the luxury of being an online business, so we're still able to kind of operate in that sort of sense and still fulfill orders. Something's got to run in this economy. Might as well be group breakers. We'll 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 save we'll save the we'll save the market. I will tell Nick you said hello, Alex. All right. Really? Shops that break online are offline on the East? I don't know why. If they're breaking from home, they should... What else are they going to They should stream. Or even if they're in a private, you know, building, private studio or something like that. Unless they're in like a building where the building has just been shut down. and Maybe that's why. They could be working in a... In a 
in a multi-use building. And we have the luxury of having our own shop. We're not in a strip mall. We're not connected to anything. We're just our own standalone building. You know, we don't share it with anybody. So I think we, we've been... There's uh, Bobby Bradley. He's got a nice auto. And that goes to uh, the Indians, Chris Parent. Hmm. Governor Cuomo said no non-essential businesses, but I know a lot of breakers often break out of their homes. Maybe they don't. I don't know. I guess we're just more rebellious, Globuck. We're just like, you know what? We fall under essential media and communications, which is what we're telling our legal team. That's 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 our, our massive legal team that we have. You know, we're we're telling them, "Hey, we're we're a media outlet dis dispensing valuable information." You know, you still have sports talk radio, right? Oh, there's the Cole Calhoun, Arthur. Weren't you looking for this guy? Maybe an autograph, but you got to Logo swap. But I mean, sports talk radio hosts still do it. I would. Who? Who are? You, I don't mind you saying it, Globug. Who? Who is it? Or do we like them or do we not like them? If we like them, you know, we should be like, hey, you guys should, you should, guys should keep going, especially if it's out of your home or if you're in a private building or something like that. Oh, it's Steel City? David Adams too? Or maybe Dave and Adams are kind of a. I feel like they're a little bit. They're on a. They're bigger than us for sure. I think they're on a different tier. Maybe they're in a sort of building situation where, where they are unable to. To keep operating at at, at a decent capacity. Jeff, I think a lot of the L.A. talk show hosts. There are a few that are that are still that are still on air from the studios. I think. Fox Sports Radio and ESPN Radio. I think people are still going in. There's Kyle Kendricks. Oh, they're in Buffalo. I would. I feel like. Well, I don't know this. I don't know the the particulars of their business or the size of their business. So maybe that is. We we're still lucky enough to have very small staff. Alzale going to the Cubs. It was Bobby Bradley and Alzale. We got two in that one this time. All right, well. Weird times, tough times. Rex, if they told us to shut down, would you break from home? No. We just wouldn't shut down. What are they going to do, Rex? How are they going to shut us down? Put the, uh, put the army in front of Jaspies? Park a tank in front of our parking lot? Arrest me? Put me in jail? For just wanting to work? Shut down. Work from home. It's not... It, it's not... It's not being a rebel. I, I wish I could be, say, like, oh, I'm cool, I'm being a rebel, but... But no. I think it's more of like, hey... I know I'm being safe. I know what my rights are. You know, like I know what what I I can make a legal case for what essential services we're providing. So we'll see you in court. LA Mayor said that uh, he was shutting water and power off to buildings. That, yeah, I heard that too. But I think. I don't think that that that's 
I don't think that applies to small businesses who are not even open to the public, who are trying to eke out a living online. So, so I think that's mostly for like those rogue bars that are still trying to stay open or those restaurants that are still allowing walk-ins or like, you know, shops that are basically still allowing people to walk in and do business. So again, I I think that uh, I think we can kind of work around those parameters. So I'll take them to court if that's the case. Again, I can I can I can make the make the legal argument based on all the information that we've had direct from the governor. Yeah, there, exactly, Alex. There, there has to be Globe Bugs, right? There has to be a line drawn. You know, we're talking or the hikers at Runyon Canyon here in Los Angeles. That that was that was a trending thing on Twitter. A lot of Sunday afternoon hiking at in LA, right? And uh, throngs of people just next to each other. You know, there's either that or one dude opened up some couple couple people in a three thousand square foot shop, well socially distanced. You know, unboxing some baseball cards to provide a little bit of levity to people. What's wrong with that? I think they started closing down some gun shops here, John. Nice black and white John Lester. Chris DeHart. Three out of 50 on that John Lester. That's a good happy hour mark, by the way. I know, the president did say that. I mean, that feels ambitious, but it'd be nice. <laughs> Isn't that around the corner? Jordan Yamamoto, there you go, an autograph for Liam this time. Got a short print earlier, an auto there. It's just a tarot card. Yeah, the Starbucks around here, I think we can only they can only do drive-through Starbucks. Thank you, John McCall. I appreciate that. <laughs> That's what keeps us essential. <laughs> it's a thin legal argument, but I'll roll with it. I think they're going to have bigger fish to fry instead of prosecuting a small business for staying open. Whit Merrifield, Jake Anderson gets the last auto. Yamamoto was first, and cool Whit Merrifield is the second and final auto of this break. Thanks, everyone. Now let's see if we can close strong with some short prints. All right, we're going to head out. I'll take your back, right. Thanks. I'll see you guys. See you tomorrow? Bye, Vanessa. Hasta mañana. Yeah, I like what Merrifield's game, Vince. That's what Rex said earlier, that, that there's going to be like an epic party that have... The, the, the thing is, there's really not going to be... You know, I, and I'm not like Mr... I'm not a panic guy, as most of you probably know already by now. And, but it's not going to be over per se. I think we're just managing it and we're going to be able to test better and then isolate those people ASAP so life can go on. But yeah, I mean, if there's like an actual date where... <laughs> Where uh, <laughs> there's an actual date where everything reopens all at once, which would be a great marketing thing. Then I think I think that would be, I think that that would definitely make a party though. It's like all bars open day one. They should really plan that out. Everything else you can roll it out, right? 
start opening some things here and there, a half capacity movie theater here and there. But bars, they should they should really they should really be like bars are all going to reopen on this one day. It could be a national holiday from here on out. Uh, what what was it back in back in the World War Two days? VE Day and VJ Day, victory over in Europe and victory over Japan. It could be VC Day, I guess, victory over COVID night, VC nineteen day, victory over COVID, and that would be the day where we all just go and or all the bars opened up on the same day. Eiffel Tower being lit up and everything, Empire State Building. There's a Brady to one hundred and fifty. Uh, yeah, I think so, Callie. Or uh, shoot us an email and ask. I don't think we have them sale on sale on the website yet, but since you're local, we might be able to arrange that for you. Oh, did I miss an Ahmed Rosario? No name. Well, I'll find it after the break. There's Carter Keboom, Chris Bryant Gold at the very end, and Nick Senzel. Arthur, I got you an autograph yesterday. What are you talking about? I thought I Matt, you know Matthew Stubblefield, I think at the the Tops Industry Conference, I think they talked about an all chrome version of Allen and Ginter, that there'll be a regular Allen and Ginter and then an all chrome version. So we'll see. Alright, here's a quick recap. Yeah, Will Clayton thinking that it won't be over guessing I don't think it'll really be over per se. We're just trying to get to a point where we can we can test and even treat to a certain extent as broadly as possible so we can actually get normal public functions back on track. I mean, you know, you can still probably go to a baseball game next year. You can still get it, but then it won't be like a big dramatic thing. You just get tested, you have it, and then, you know, you get treated for it, you rest up, you move on, you know. Hopefully it'll be like that. I think that's what that's what it's going to be. We just want normalcy, There's some semblance for normalcy to come back. But hey, listen, um, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I appreciate you sticking around and hanging out with us. I know a lot of you are stuck indoors in these weird times, but we'll try to get you through it um, as best as possible. Keep calm, keep cool, and uh, we'll get through it all together. Keep those hands washed and everything too. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time, jazbeescasebreaks.com.